one of the best things that you can do in Greece is to go out to eat the most delicious food. In this video, I'm going to go through some restaurant vocabulary and sign language because the Greeks, they also like to talk a lot with their hands. My name is Lena and this is My Life in Rodos. Welcome to the channel. In Greek language, a restaurant is estiatorio, but more traditional uh, Greek food place is called taverna. Usually there you have these traditional wooden chairs, handmade wooden chairs, and the cloth on the table is a paper, like a pa big paper napkin. And this is because in traditional tavernas you're allowed to make a mess. And at the end of the meal, the waiter just folds the tablecloth and takes it in the garbage and the table is clean and ready for the next customers. Also in these paper, paper tablecloth cloths, uh, there's printed the map of Rodos. So for example, while, you're, while you are waiting for your meal, you can plan already for your next trip or next stop or the next road to take. Now the waiter has brought your drinks to the table and it's time to say cheers. In Greek it's yamas. It comes from the words stini yamas, which means to our health. And now we use all our five senses when we cling, uh, click the glasses together. We touch the glass, we see it, we taste it and smell it, and then we also hear it. With the drinks the waiter will bring you uh, basket of bread with the forks and the knives in, inside this basket. Uh, the Greeks, they don't usually traditionally use, they don't eat like this with the fork and the knife, but they, they would cut with the knife, but after they would put the knife down and eat with the fork. In Greece, there's this traditional um, taverna called Mese do Bolio. Mese means a small plate, small salty plate. And an alcohol drink is poto, uzo, uh, raki, tsipuro, or suma. The Greeks, they don't drink alcohol without food. So with alcohol drinks, they will bring these mese plates, these salty plates, and they are shared among the table, usually. Ah, also the Greeks, they can cheers to themselves. If they're alone, for example, they would just take their glass and just uh, knock it on, on the table. That's cheers. Cheers to me, I think. Another traditional Greek messe place, it's called Uzeri, which comes from the word Uzo, because this place traditionally is served Uzo. People go there to drink Uzo and have with the messe plates. Many times the bigger restaurants, bigger tavernas, they are really busy and the waiters are running around and the tables are full. But there is a sign language for this, so that the waiter doesn't have to come to the table every time a customer needs something. For example, if you want to have, let's say, another drink, another beer, you will show your, your drink and point waiter's attention, and then you point to your drink. Or if you want two of them, you show like this. Or if you want to have another round of drinks to the table, you make a circle with your finger around the table, another round. In the traditional uh, messe places, Besopolio, Tavernas, uh, Useris, there is no hurry. There is a different rhythm there. Siga, siga. Slowly, slowly. You put your fingers together and it, like you're pushing brakes. Uh, in Greece, you never show like this. You always have your fingers together. For example, if you want to say thank you to a, a driver on the road, you go like this. Or Cola pende, give me five. Cola means glue, glue five. You glue your fingers together. You never show like this. If you want to show, for example, the number five, you turn your 
your hand around, you never show like this. Now, in Greek language, this is very rude. You don't want to do that. A hand signal in Greek for food is like this. Food, hungry. Are you hungry? Hmm? You want to eat? Hmm? Or drink? It's like you have a glass. These could be international, but the Greeks, they use, the, use them a lot. And money is like this. If the place is really nice and beautiful and the atmosphere is lovely with the flowers and friendly staff, it's nice. In Greek, it's oreo. In Greek language, a lot is poli. And ligo is little. Poli, ligo, very little, very few, not enough. A lot, a little. Or para poli is a lot. But you can also do like this with your hand and circle it around, fingers casually, or if you want to do it even better. For example, uh, somebody asks you, did you eat a lot? Did you eat a lot in the taverna? And you will go like this. You lift up, you take a serious face, you lift up your chin, and then you howl like a wolf to a full moon. And you go, Ooh! This means you don't believe how much. When you want the bill, in Greek you say tologariasmo parakalo. Parakalo means you are welcome. But it's also used as the word please. But again, you have a busy waiter running and you will sign this tologariasmo parakalo. You will get the attention of waiter and then you write like a list like this in the air. That means bill, please. And then you ask a question in Greek like, how much? Posa? Or why? Yati? What? Ti? This is a question. You turn your wrist like this. This is all I have for today. And now you have all the necessary tools to communicate only in Greek language the next time you go to a taverna. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, bye bye!